Hey, what is up, you guys, and welcome back to the 423. Erica Mena was caught slipping today, trying to come for Nicki Minaj, but of course, the barbs had their receipts ready to go with the quickness. Her and her fiance Safari were being interviewed by Nessa on Hot 97, and when she was asked about whether or not she listened to Safari's ex, Nicki Minaj, Erica tried to come for her, claiming she never really liked her music because she was always biting Lil' Kim. Erica, do you listen to Nicki's music? Or do you not listen to it? Because I feel like you're... That's a, good, that's a real mm, question right like, there. I feel like Safari's at a good place where mm. he doesn't care. Music mm -hmm, is mm -hmm. music. As a musician, uh -huh. I feel like musicians have a different aura. They never trip. Mm -hmm, when it's good music, it's good music. Have you made a conscious effort? Or are you just like, oh, it's cool. You, you don't think of it. Honestly, I grew up on, on Little Kim so heavy. Right. That When that came out... I was like, oh, she's biting my girl. Yeah, it just but was Nikki's what it was. Nikki. Yeah. Nikki's still great. But I she is, but right. I just ne I've never been drawn to it. Got it. Okay. I just feel like it was just always just cartoony and stuff. So but it's never a point like if it's on, she's, it's on. She's great in what right. she does. If it's on, but it's me on. personally. Got it. Yeah. Like I mean, you're right. in a club, you're you're That's nice what I'm saying. In already, the club, it's on. But I wouldn't. I don't know the words, right? To, to but shit. you're not going out of your way to be like, "Yo, DJ, stop!" Like, and I've definitely don't given care. her credit of before course. publicly. Where it's due, right? I have. She's great. I, She's and great I, I'm what big she does. on that. Sure. But like, as far as like being a like a legitimate, like I listen to it like by choice. Right, but you never did before, so this isn't something brand new. No, it's Do you not. Get what I'm and, saying? and I have been very. It's very po like right. public. Like even before he came along, like. Everybody knows I'm like, I arrive with my sis. Right? So there she is being a typical girlfriend or fiance, talking shit about her man's ex for no reason, and saying that Nikki's music never drew her in. But as it turns out, that's not really how her story goes. Some fans pulled up old tweets by Erica from a few years back where, of course, she's talking about how much she loves Nicki Minaj. The Shade Room posted some of these tweets, and Erica hopped in the comments trying to act like someone fabricated them. She wrote, Made up fake tweets. I appreciate the time being spent on me. Zoo animals know how to keep themselves busy. And yo, I don't know what she's saying with this zoo animal shit, but whatever it is, she's definitely messing up the analogy. Like, is she trying to say that she's a zoo animal locked up and we're all watching her? Or we're the zoo animals, so she's watching us? Man, I don't know, but she's been repeating that phrase all day, and I don't think even she knows what it means. Anyway, the fact of the matter is, the tweets aren't made up, and Erica is trying to act like she loves the attention, when really, she's embarrassed over standing for her man's ex. So now, she's on this whole thanks for the free promo run, where that's her reply to everything. She tweeted, free promo Thursday, thanks suckas. And then after that, went on to say, you know I get a kick out of keeping these zoo animals busy. You can't pay for this much promo and attention. Which isn't true. This girl got a few posts in the shade room and act like she's on the front page of the New York Times. So I guess she's sticking with the story that these tweets about Nikki are made up when, in fact, they were still very searchable on her page today until she deleted them to cover up her tracks. And beyond the fact that she was clearly a fan, Erica has worked with her before. She was in the All I Do Is Win remix video with Nicki Minaj. There are even pictures of this girl holding up Nicki's mixed fusion bottle. Your Honor, she's a fan. All of this just goes to show that honesty is the best policy, especially in situations where people can easily pull up receipts and prove you wrong. All Erica had to say was, Yeah, I used to listen to Nicki, but now I just can't stand her anymore because she was with my man or something. But trying to act all tough and throw shade and then being exposed as a fan is even more embarrassing than just admitting that you used to like her music. But of course, I want to know what you guys think about this. What do you think that Erica should have done to correctly handle the situation when responding to a question about Safari's ex-girlfriend? Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, subscribe to the 423 for more videos, and if you like this one, just give it a quick thumbs up. That is it for today. I will see you guys next time. Bye.